Born on the 21st of June, 1982, Prince William Arthur Philip Louis of Wales entered the world as the eldest son of Prince Charles and the late Princess Diana. His birth sparked global fascination as he was destined to one day become the future King of England. So let's take a look back at some of his most notable moments as a young prince, father and husband. Growing up in the spotlight, William experienced a childhood like no other. From family holidays to skiing trips, he balanced royal duties whilst embarking on the joys of youthhood. One of the most iconic moments of William's early childhood was his visit to Australia with his parents in 1983. The adorable toddler captured hearts across the nation, drawing massive crowds wherever he went. He made his debut in front of the press, taking his first steps in Kensington Palace. Prince William's childhood was a blend of royal duties and relatable experiences, thanks to his mother, Princess Diana. She ensured he had a well-rounded upbringing by exposing him to everyday life and her charitable work. In 1984, Prince William became a big brother when Prince Harry was born. Diana fostered a close bond between the brothers from the very start, often dressing them in matching outfits and taking them out on fun outings together. During a visit to Canada in 1991, Diana took William and Harry to see Niagara Falls. The young princes, dressed in matching raincoats, rode the Maid of the Mist boat and admired the iconic waterfall. These experiences helped shape William's perspective, balancing his royal responsibilities whilst enjoying the simple, everyday joys that many children are able to experience. Prince William received his early education in London and Berkshire, before eventually attending Eton College in 2005. His time at Eton College was a pivotal moment in his life, filled with both challenges and growth. He excelled academically, especially in geography and art history. Beyond the classroom, he was the captain of the swimming and his house football team. Prince William's childhood took a devastating turn in 1997, when his beloved mother, Princess Diana, tragically passed away in a car accident. The heartfelt moment he and 12-year-old Harry walked solemnly behind Diana's casket as it moved through the streets of London, deeply pierced the hearts of the British public and the world. William, just 15 at the time, faced the harsh reality of losing a parent, thrown into a world of pain under the media spotlight. The tragic passing of his mother left him to navigate a life forever changed by grief and loss. After completing and passing his A-levels, William embarked on a gap year adventure to explore the world. He volunteered in Chile, working on environmental projects and held classes teaching young students English. Salto, jump. Salto de agua, water jump. He also lived in the jungles of Belize, asking those around him to treat him like a regular person. Prince William's time at the University of St Andrews was truly transformative. 
This next period in his life gave him a rare chance to blend in and live like any other student. It's been just three, three and a half years obviously so far where um, I've been very independent and, and been left alone to sort of study and do my own thing really. People are saying that, you know, it's impossible to lead a normal life, really, but actually up here and with the media out of it, um, it's amazing how people will just get on with their lives and, and not bother you. He firstly pursued a degree in arts history before switching to geography, discovering a real passion for environmental issues. But beyond the lectures and books, St Andrews was where he met Catherine Middleton, sparking a romance that would stand the test of time. For William, St Andrews was not just about getting a degree. It was a place where he could grow and fall in love. Following tradition, Prince William served in the British Armed Forces. He trained at the Royal Military Academy Sandhurst, where he earned his commission as an officer. As Lieutenant Wales, he joined the Household Cavalry, participating in ceremonial duties and operational roles. His time in the military instilled in him a profound sense of duty as he trained alongside other soldiers and experienced the demands of military life. Put the weapon down! Put the weapon down! Put the weapon down! Yeah, these experiences in the military profoundly shaped his character, reinforcing his commitment to service and his understanding of the sacrifices made by those in uniform. When it came to William's romance with Kate Middleton, despite the intense media scrutiny and brief split in 2007, their relationship remained strong and weathered the pressures of public life. After several years of dating, William proposed to Kate in Kenya with his mother's engagement ring. It was about uh, three weeks ago on a holiday in Kenya. Um, we had a little private time um, away together with some friends and I just decided that it was the right time really. Um, we'd been talking about, about um, marriage for a while, so it wasn't a massively big surprise, but uh, I took her up somewhere nice in, uh, in Kenya and, uh, and proposed. Very romantic. There's a true romantic in that. There is. <laughs> Their 2011 wedding at Westminster Abbey was a grand affair watched by millions around the world, marking the beginning of their life as the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge to the now Prince and Princess of Wales and the future King and Queen. After their fairy tale wedding, the newlyweds enjoyed a few years of building their life together. They lived in Anglesey in Wales, where William worked as a search and rescue pilot. And Kate adjusted to her new royal responsibilities. During this time, they were actively involved in major events, like the London 2012 Olympics. They cheered on Team GB, attended various sporting events and participated in official duties as Olympic ambassadors alongside Prince Harry. Amid these public engagements, they juggled their expected duties with private moments of normalcy, allowing them to strengthen their bond as a couple and create a solid foundation for the next exciting chapter of their lives. Welcome in their first child, Prince George. Prince George was born in July of 2013, followed by Princess Charlotte in 2015, and Prince Louis in April 2018. Balancing royal duties with the joys of parenthood, they've built a supportive partnership, 
becoming beloved figures both in the UK and across the globe. Over the years, William and Kate often involved their children in royal engagements and public appearances, allowing them to experience their future roles firsthand. Whether it's attending Troop in the Colour, or participating in charity events, the pair have fostered a sense of duty and service into their children from a young age. Influenced by the values instilled by his mother, Princess Diana, William has passed on these same principles to his own children, just as she did with him and his younger brother, Harry. Despite their close bond in earlier years, William's relationship with Harry has become strained. The shift began after Prince Harry married Meghan Markle in 2018. According to sources, the brothers fell out in 2018 after Harry felt William wasn't doing enough to include Meghan in the royal family. Tensions escalated after Harry and Meghan stepped back from royal duties and relocated to the United States. Television interviews and Harry's revelations in his memoir further solidified the rift, making reconciliation a challenging possibility for the brothers today. Beyond his royal duties and family life, Prince William became a passionate advocate for mental health awareness. When I was working as a search and rescue pilot in the RAF and then as an air ambulance pilot, I was fortunate enough to work with organisations that really valued the mental health of their staff. We were working in unique and high-pressured circumstances, but at the end of the day, it didn't matter if it was an issue from work or home. All the crew were encouraged to be open and to talk. Drawing from his own experiences, he has worked tirelessly to break the stigma surrounding mental health issues. Guys need support, that's the thing. That's the thing. A, lot people, a lot of people think that, you know, guys just got to man up and get on with their stuff, but actually guys need support, particularly emotionally as well. Yeah, yeah. And it's, it, is, it is interesting what you're saying about, you know, that you, you, you feel how important it is to have somebody there to, to, who cares about you, who, who wants to listen to you. And that's what I think a lot of you know, society, particularly as it, you know, it fragments in places, can, you can lose that connection with other people. Yeah. You don't have you know, close group of friends, you don't have someone who's there for you. And that's, that's where I think a lot of guys end up getting quite isolated and things set in. In 2019, Prince William launched the groundbreaking initiative Heads Up, aimed at using the power of football to raise awareness about mental health. We wouldn't think twice to ask a mate how he was doing after a broken arm or an ankle. And we wouldn't hesitate to talk about our routine at the gym or even our need to make it a bit more regular. But when it comes to our mental health, we, and by we I mean men in particular, often have nothing to say at all. When we see a friend that looks down, too many of us don't know how to ask if he's okay. When we ourselves feel down, we are often ashamed to say we need help. And when we know we need help, we don't even know where to start. Just like physical health, we all have mental health. Every one of us will face setbacks in our lives, and every one of us will face challenges with our mental health as a result. By partnering with the Football Association, he brought mental health to the forefront of the sporting world, encouraging open conversations and breaking down the stigma surrounding mental health. To build the momentum around mental health and to be able to talk about it more freely and more openly, we needed to use uh, a vehicle that had huge power and huge potential. And, and we realised football has got that, that ability for every person up and down the country, all around the world, to really relate to and understand. So we thought, why not have the biggest conversation around mental health using football as that tool? His dedication to this cause is a testament to his commitment to turning personal tragedy into positive change helping others to find strength and support in their own struggles. It's difficult. Mm -hmm. But it gets easier, I promise you. Mm -hmm. It gets easier. Yeah. 
In 2020, Prince William launched the Earthshot Prize, demonstrating his deep commitment to environmental issues. The £50 million initiative aims to find and fund innovative solutions to the world's most pressing environmental challenges. When I first began discussing what would become the Earthshot Prize, uh, we didn't particularly know that we would create an incredible alliance of more than 200 brilliant partners from across the world. We didn't know that we would receive hundreds of nominations from every continent. And we didn't know who our first finalists and winners would be, nor the solutions they would be recognised for. However, we were confident that all this was possible because we knew there were incredible people all around the world working on groundbreaking solutions that could help us turn the tide on our earth shots. And we knew that by telling their stories, we would inspire much needed optimism and hope that we can indeed repair our planet. Through his various patronages and initiatives, he continually strives to make a positive impact both on society <laughs> and the environment. Prince William's legacy is a testament to resilience, compassion and steadfast dedication. As the next in line for the throne, he has navigated the intricate balance of royal duties and personal challenges with remarkable grace, including supporting his wife, Catherine, through her cancer diagnosis and treatment. He also faced the news of his father, King Charles's diagnosis, requiring him to step up and provide unwavering support during these challenging times. His journey serves as an inspiration to many, reminding us of the power of leadership and humility in an ever-changing world.